Hello Libra, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss with your November 2019 mini tarot reading. I just can't believe how quickly the year is coming to an end. It's flown by this year for a lot of us. Um, I so appreciate you dropping in. I just wanted to take a moment and thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel, for liking us on Facebook. I appreciate you. I'd like to say happy Thanksgiving to those of you that celebrate here in the States and those who are not, all the military families that are out there. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope you're together. Please know our prayers are with you all. And those of you who don't celebrate Thanksgiving, it's my favorite holiday. We do a lot of cooking and eating around here during that holiday. So I just wanted to say happy Thanksgiving. And please, uh, if you'd like a reading just about you this is a general reading stop by my website the link is down below get yourself an appointment we'll get to it as quickly as we can or if you have just a question or two you might want to stop by instantgo.com uh, and i've included that link down below if you just have a question or so one or two it works quite well and i'm so happy to be part of that group um, but let's see what's happening for you this month, Libra. It says, excuses are gone now. Preparedness in reverse. It says, if you are delaying making any decisions, don't let the past interfere with your decisions. Try your best to do what's best for you. You might even say words like, hey, how is this serving me? How is that going to work for me? Or what do I get out of this? That is not selfish. Um, if you're making decisions about family, include them in the decision. It just says you'll be able to make decisions. But don't play your own excuses over and over because they're gone now. It says that the feeling of being alone that you've had for quite a while, some of you, that too, something about that's going to change. It looks like um, sadness from the past, there's always going to be something. Whatever it is that's, that creates a sadness, it'll always be there. A shadow, it'll be like a ghost, whatever. But it also says there's something new that has happened. I don't know if there was a baby this year or a baby's coming or something but there's also going to be things to be happy for so um and if <laughs> the pregnancy card there if you want to be pregnant hallelujah if you don't you know what to do so um and here it says those of you that are wanting to move could be a uh, a, a real plan for you. I don't know that you move right away. Maybe you're building a house or looking for one. I don't know that you move this month, but it says if you're planning on it, you're going to start looking or you're going to start um, building or making plans or something like that. And it says for a lot of you, that's you've been waiting a long time for that, but this is the month that you make the commitment. Maybe that's one of the decisions you make, but you'll have what you need to do so. It says that a lot of learning so far this month, um, for a lot of learning for this month that's going to bring change for you and it says that i think you forgot how good you are at some stuff you are a chariot in a lot of ways it says that when you uh, focus and put your mind on something there's no stopping you and you have a way of seeing both sides of a question a lot of the time which makes it difficult for some of you to make a decision which is fine but don't be so influenced by the choices you have to make right now uh, by everybody else's opinion not that there's anything wrong with discussing or having help from the outside, but if it's about you, the ultimate choice, remember, is yours. And you're going to be guided. It says the change, oh my gosh, we have double aces here, ace of pentacles and the ace of wands, which means there could very well be a change for sure in the finances, improvement-wise, but it also could mean a beginning of a different position, a job, maybe even a new beginning in general for your finances. It says changes that were made mid-year which would be june or july or august somewhere in there is what i think or feel it's going to pay off for you now um, in a way of uh security a way of um feeling good about yourself or seeing the seeing how far you've come since then that's a good way to put that so it looks like it's been a year of change for a lot of you so far but the change is, uh, is going to be improvement now. It says things are finally going to start falling into place, which is so welcome. It says you're nobody's fool. If you had some ups and downs, if you had some legal issues or money issues, I just feel like you're going to feel like a victor here by the end of this year, which is, you know, we have two months, November and December. So whatever you've done, I think you're going to feel good about it. However, whatever changes you've made, to make things better. You're going to feel really good about it. It says that you've worked really hard. It's time to take some rest time for yourself. It seems like a lot of you have been go, go, go like the little Energizer Bunny and maybe you just need to stop and breathe and see what's going on for yourself. It says 
uh, waiting for things to happen doesn't always mean they're going to happen. Sometimes we have to step up and do something to make them happen. Maybe we have a want or a wish or a dream. And um, a dream with no action means sometimes nothing's going to happen. That, that, somebody else had that too, This uh, some sign. But it says you're stronger than you realize that the, the days of not knowing what to do and feeling like you're stuck, I think they're coming to an end or at least they're going to be much less stressful. It says you've learned how to handle stress in a different way. Specifically, if it's a money that's stressing you, it seems like there's a change there for you for the better. And it says that, don't forget, you can help, have help from family or friends or even someone close to you as a partner. It says you don't have to walk that fear walk alone or that um, unsteadiness. You have support around you, and, and please don't be afraid to ask them for help. It says you definitely are going to make some choices now for sure for your... Um, <clears throat> I don't know for sure. You're going to be making some choices. I don't think I said that right. You're going to be making some choices shortly to change uh, what's coming for you. Okay, like uh, a continuation of what you're doing. If you're on a new job, you're going to either decide whether you're going to stay or not. You might decide you're going to move or not move. I'm just saying the choices you make right now or put into place are going to stay with you for quite a while, and they're going to be good choices for you, some official choices. It says you're fearful to make some. But you know what, if you put all of your, you know, if you made a list of this is the good stuff, this is not the good stuff, you know, this is what I want to do and find the balance there, it'll be much easier for you. Um, it says what you want is right before you. It says you've learned how to stand up in a good way, but again, you're able to see both sides of a lot of things, which makes it difficult sometimes to choose what you want to do. Best course of action here is you know, to focus on it doesn't matter what's gone, it matters what's left. And that's not just love, it's property, it's uh, education, it's job, whatever. Because when you can focus on what you have and be grateful for what you have, it's going to bring you joy. Seriously, this is, this is some heavy-duty joy. It's happy like a child. And it's about time. It would be great to see all those smiles on your faces. You're going to receive what you need. Um, uh, in, in abundance. And abundance, most people go right to money, which it could be, but it also can be joy, bliss, and ease. It looks like there's lots of blessings for you, Libra. And with that said, I want to again say happy Thanksgiving to you. Thank you so much for dropping by and watching my videos. I so appreciate you, Libra. And I'll see you again next month.